time now for Midnight Baseball, episode number 85. I'm Spencer Dodgers, and this is now batting number two. We all know what I'm going to say. I'm not going to try to imitate Bob Shepard, the great Yankees public announcer. It's Derek Jeter, Mr. Yankee, the captain, Mr. November. Call him what you will. This Yankee great's career has come full circle tonight. He got his plaque in Monument Park. He's getting his number two retired in Yankee Stadium. And tonight we're going to discuss other great players who could have the chance to spend their whole career and build their legacy and have a career close to Mr. Derek Jeter. All right. Trivia from last time. Which San Diego Padres have their numbers retired in San Diego? There's, there's going to be five of them. Well, who are their names and what are their numbers? One, two, and three. It's Steve Garvey, number six. Tony Gwynn, number 19. Dave Winfield, number 31. Randy Jones, 35. And Trevor Hoffman, 51. Five numbers in San Diego. There they are. That's them. And we're going to the news and the notes. And that's Bryce Harper. Mr. Bryce Harper gets a one-year raise for 2018 for the Washington Nationals. $21 million is breaking records for the last year of arbitration. Bryce Harper and Scott Boris are trying to do that. What does that mean for the national fans? What does that mean for 2018? We know that Manny Machado, Josh Donaldson, maybe Clayton Kershaw all might be free agents. But Bryce Harper, who is a, grew up a fit New York Yankee fan just like Derek Jeter, just like LeBron James, is going to have a very interesting part in his career to make his legacy last forever. Will he stay in Washington with the Nationals? Will he go to the Yankees? Will he go and chase the... $500 million that he wants from somewhere else. Don't sell him short, right? Don't sell Bryce Harper short. But will Bryce Harper sell the national fans short and get a different legacy, right? We know what LeBron did. We know what Albert Pujols did to the Cardinals fans. We know what the Pirates did to Andrew McCutcheon's legacy. Okay, that's the opposite coin of that. So will it be like Pujols and leave? Will it be like McCutcheon and be traded away? That's kind of a little tidbit. What would I do if I was the Nationals? I would trade Bryce Harper. I would trade him next year and get the value you can for him now because the writing's on the wall. Scott Boris wants to get paid. Nationals don't have the money to pay him. And I'm interested to see what's going to happen. Who are some players right now as we get into the main chunk of our thing with Derek Jeter being retired? Who are some players that could be retired and will be? I'm going to give their stamp of approval of guys that have been on one team and will retire as one team. I was listening to Bob Euchre talking to the Brewers. He was talking about how a few players are left, and here's some of those names. Number one in the Midwest, Joe Maurer, Minnesota Twins. Joe Maurer won batting titles with the, as a catcher. He's being paid. And just go out, Joe Maurer. Give the Twins fans what they want. Don't put it on a different jersey. Joe Maurer, Twins forever. Number two, Dustin Pedroia, the scrappy guy. I've been talking down. I'm bringing all my shows full circle here. I love this. Pedroia, be a Red Sox forever. Show Red Sox Nation that you have that great determination to give those fans what they deserve. And that's uh, some of who just exemplifies what they love to represent. And that's just winning hard-nosed baseball. Pedroia, be a Red Sox forever. And number three is Buster Posey. This guy's won three championships with the Giants. MVPs, Posey. I hate to watch you, but I love what you do for the Giants fans in San Francisco. Do what you do. Bumgarner might have been a Giant forever, but things like the motorcycle accident, a big contract coming up for him will change things. Buster Posey, you're awesome. Keep doing what you're doing in San Francisco. All right. I got some shout-outs. I'm doing it again. Mr. Dave Winfield. Yes, today I'm shouting out Dave Winfield. I talked to him on Winfield Chatter, okay? Mr. Winfield, you should have been there today at Monument Park. New York Yankees organization. This is a chance for you to step up. Show forgiveness. Show grace. Show MLB that you can be the great, uh, extraordinary organization and be a role model for the community. Work with Major League Baseball in inner cities. Show forgiveness. Bring Dave Winfield back. He needs to be at ceremonies today. He should have been on the field. Dave Winfield, I'm not going to stop this until we keep talking to you and build a relationship back with the New York Yankees. Another shout out going real quick, Dodger Tune. Dodger Tune, Freddie, did me a picture today. I love the picture you did representing hashtag retired Dodgers 34. It's another example of social media, the power that it has, having relationships. I believe Freddie lives in Mexico, so Seattle to Mexico, building that relationship. Love what's going on. 
Derek Jeter's retirement, retired numbers, legacies. How can you make decisions? Every day in baseball, we think about our families as coaches, everything else. I'm learning all the day. I ask you to look at Derek Jeter as an example, as I will continue to do that as well. Midnight Baseball, Baseball Gods, RackLife.org, Hashtag Dodgers 34, Modern Pop, I'm doing what I love best. In honor of Derek Jeter, I'm doing a little so long. Dive into the seats, baby. Oh, yeah. I pick winners, cha 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 cha. I pick winners. Who we have been picking some good ones. Tomorrow, pick the Toronto Blue Jays. Atlanta is going to be flying north in some unfamiliar territory in the American League. Toronto tomorrow. Bye bye now. Woo!